advised ministers and several officials. The explosion caused the martyrdom of Deputy Commander of Army and Armed Forces, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Defense, Major General Dawood Rajha, Deputy Defense Minister, Major General Asif Shokat, in addition to Major General Hassan Turkmani, Assistant Vice President, who passed away because of wounds he sustained in the explosion. As the General Command of the Army and Armed Forces conveys the news of the martyrdom of its heroes, it voices determination to annihilate the gangs of killing and to chase them wherever they may be. Major General Dawood Abdullah Rajha was born in Damascus in 1947. He graduated from the War Academy. His specialization was field artillery. He became Major General in 1998 and General in 2005. He was appointed head of several departments and commissions in the armed forces. Rajha was appointed as Chief of Staff of the Army and Armed Forces on June 4, 2009. General Asif Shaukat was born in Tartus Governorate in 1950. He joined the War Academy, from which he graduated as an infantry officer. He took part in the October War of Liberation in 1973. He occupied the post of Military Intelligence Chief, became Deputy Chief of Staff and later appointed as Deputy Defense Minister. General Hassan Turkmani was born in Aleppo in 1935. He joined the Military Academy. Turkmani participated in the Tishreen Liberation War as Commander of Division. He was appointed as Deputy Chief of Staff in 1982, then the Chief of Staff in 2002. Defense Minister since 2004 till 2009. Later he was appointed Assistant Vice President. President Bashar Assad issued Decree 275 of 2012, appointing General Fahad Jassim al Frej as Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Armed Forces. Starting July 18, 2012, President Al-Assad also issued Decree No. 276 of 2012, appointing General Frej as Minister of Defense. The Ministry of Information said in a statement since the terrorist bombing which targeted national security building, hundreds of websites, social networking websites and satellite channels started broadcasting a huge amount of misinformation, news and photos aimed at undermining the morals of Syrians. These news and photos are baseless and have been prepared by Western intelligence apparatus and psychological war centers. The statement added that weakness and frustration pushed these websites and satellite channels towards such a disparate attempt to get out of its frustration. Russia condemned the terrorist explosion which hit the national security headquarters in Damascus. Alexander Lukashevich, spokesperson of the Russian foreign ministry, said that Moscow strongly condemns terrorism with all its forms and rely on finding and punishing those who committed this terrorist act. On its part, Iran strongly condemned the attack. Iranian assistant foreign minister for Arab and African affairs, Hussein Amar Abdelalin, said that Iran strongly condemns the terrorist attack, stressing that parties which are sending weapons and supporting the armed groups in Syria have failed in destabilizing the country. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Russia has proposed to the UN Special Envoy to Syria, Kofi Annan, holding a second round of talks of the International Action Group on Syria on the level of political experts. In a statement to the journalists in Moscow, Lavrov stressed the need for such a meeting to consider the mechanism of implementing what was agreed upon, adding that the Western countries are working hard to prevent the UN Security Council from adopting Geneva Agreements. Units from our armed forces on Wednesday chased down terrorists who infiltrated into a Medan neighborhood in Damascus and killed and arrested a large number of them. The military units also chased down terrorists who terrorized some families in the neighborhoods of Al-Qaboon and Tishreen and forced them to leave their homes. Armed forces units confronted in Al-Hajar al-Aswad a number of terrorists and killed a number of them and arrested others. In Hama and after information from residents and follow-up by security forces who managed to raid a number of hideouts in Hamidiyya and al Hadar quarters, inflicting big losses among them and confiscating weapons and stolen medical supplies from the terrorists, in addition to killing a number of them and arresting others. Authorities in Idlib have hunted down armed terrorist groups who carried out acts of killing, kidnapping and sabotage in Salqeen and Kafr Takharim in the governorate suburbs. The clashes inflicted heavy losses on the terrorists. The terrorists identified were Muhammad Hassoun, Ahmed Al-Dahir, Mustafa Hamdi, and Wa'il al mazraim <laughs> Authorities also intercepted an armed terrorist group who had attacked law enforcement troops in Al-Jura, and Naziriye, Libla, and Azara in Al-Aqsar district in Homs suburbs. Huge losses were inflicted on the terrorists. <laughs>